Hey everyone, Sam with Team 4Flight here. 4Flight Manage is now integrated with 4Flight Web, allowing you to move seamlessly between planning your flights and managing your account, all within an elegant and simple interface. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the layout and functionality of the new Manage page, including how to upgrade or renew your subscription, and how to link your account with outside services like FlightAware and Dropbox. Start by clicking the Login button at the top of ForeFlight's homepage and logging in. From the Maps page, click on your username in the navigation sidebar on the left to access the Manage page. You can then collapse the sidebar using the arrows at the top. The Manage page includes three tabs along the top for Account, Integrations, and Activity. In the Profile section, you can edit basic information about your profile, such as your name, the email address associated with your account, and your home airport. Click Update to save changes. You can also change your password. The next section has information about your subscription, including your plan type, number of licenses, and expiration date. Single pilot accounts will show one license, which allows for two iPads and one iPhone to be signed in at once, while multi-pilot accounts allow for one iPad and one iPhone per license. Click Upgrade or Renew My Subscription to access ForeFlight's Buy page, and follow the directions there to upgrade or renew your plan. If you have a credit card on file with ForeFlight, you can toggle Auto Renew off or on, allowing ForeFlight to charge your credit card and renew your subscription when it expires. You must have a credit card on file to enable Auto Renew. The subscription section also has a history of your transactions with ForeFlight, with a button to view the receipt for each transaction. Note that only purchases made through ForeFlight's site are shown here. Purchases made in the app can be found in iTunes, along with receipts. At the bottom of the Account tab, you can view all the devices signed into your account, with details like when they were last updated and the iOS version of each. You can remove a device from your account by clicking Remove, which is the same as signing out inside the app on that device. Next up is the Integrations tab where you can connect your account to a number of external tools and services. If your subscription includes cloud documents, you can connect to a cloud storage provider like Dropbox to upload your own documents to the app. Enter the name of the catalog as you want it to appear in the app and select which cloud provider you'll use, then click Create. After entering your credentials for the cloud provider, if prompted, and clicking Allow, the new linked catalog will appear in the app, allowing you to add documents to the app from your computer. If you've blocked your tail number with FlightAware, you can connect your ForeFlight account with your FlightAware account to receive flight notifications from FlightAware in-app. Click Connect and then Allow Access to connect the two accounts. Lastly, the Activity tab shows any comments you've made in ForeFlight both for airports and specific FBOs, and allows you to delete your comments. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about ForeFlight Web or ForeFlight in general, feel free to email our pilot support team at team at